Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice of radio, so today we need to take a look at your pre-order guide for Paradox Rift. I believe we've got all of the products that have gone and been revealed now, and there are still a couple of questions hanging for that. I can only apologize. I can only share with you the information we have, but I do think we have enough information now that I can show you all of the products and a few questions that are missing. I'll let you know as we go along. Now, of course, Paradox Rift is a set which is coming out on November the 3rd, and there are a couple of hooks of the set. The big hook of the set, of course, is that it is bringing in ancient and future Pokemon. Now, we are promised that there will be some cards that interact with them. As I record this, we've not actually seen any. We will, at some point, but as it stands at the moment, that is... Whoa, it's hanging out there at the moment. We just don't know. When we do know, I will, of course, show you. But we've got EXs like Scarlet Moon and Iron Valiant. And for what it's worth, they both look like really, really good cards. Your Iron Valiant's got that ridiculous ability that when it moves into the active, once per turn drops two damage counters. And although you can only use each Iron Valiant once per turn, if you have multiple Iron Valiant, you can use multiple Iron Valiant which sounds like a pretty good thing to me. And then, you know, Roaring Moon with its instant KO for free energy, or its free energy attack that does 220 and discards a stadium in play. I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen, these look cool. We also know that it is going to be bringing in the return of TMs, because, of course, we've seen... Well, we, it was officially announced that that was going to be a thing, I should say. But then also... We've seen some in Raging Surf over in Japan, which, of course, we know is going to be part of this set as well. So, yeah, stuff to get excited about. Now, obviously, you've got your usual booster box and booster packs. And we've got four different booster pack artworks, obviously featuring Iron Valiant and Roaring Moon, but also featuring Water-type Terra Garchomp, a la Raging Surf, and Armor Rouge, which we know is getting an EX that has gone and been confirmed, we just don't actually know what the EX looks like or does or any of that. So that's standard. You're going to have those things. But you're also going to have the Elite Trainer Boxes. Now, as normal, there are two different versions. But as we don't always see, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't, there are two different ones each of which has two versions. So we've got the Future or Iron Valiant Elite Trainer Box, which has a regular and a Pokemon Center exclusive. And then we've got our Ancient or Roaring Moon Elite Trainer Box, which has a regular and a Pokemon Center exclusive. And we don't have a look at the Pokemon Center exclusive contents, but we can have a look at the regular contents, and we know at this stage what the deal is. The regular version is going to be exactly the same as the Pokemon Center exclusive. The differences are going to be twofold. The Pokemon Center exclusive is going to have two extra packs of cards. And it's going to have a second promo with a Pokemon Center stamp in addition to the normal one. Yes, we know what the cards are going to be. They're going to be Iron Bundle and Screamtail. We've not actually seen them. You'll notice on the screen they are turned around. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. It is overwhelmingly likely, and from process of elimination, we kind of know this at this stage, that these are actually going to be just the cards we've already seen from the set. But they're going to be the illustration rare versions, which are in the Japanese set, and then they're going to take them out of our set to put in the Elite Trainer Box. The reason we know that is because there's going to be 36 illustration rares over the three Japanese sets that make up this in Japan. But there's only going to be 34 illustration rares in our set. There's two missing. There's two cards we know are going to be in no sets, which have illustration rares in our elite trainer boxes. Put it together, ladies and gentlemen. Put it together. And I've said this before, but let me say it again. You want to be trying to get these sooner rather than later. If you're interested in the Pokemon Center exclusive elite trainer boxes, I wouldn't hang around too long before you pre-ordered them. Now, we do know we are getting a booster bundle like normal. It's going to be six packs at a price of six packs. Nothing more, nothing less. If you want to get a box with six packs in, brilliant. If you don't, that's fine too. I will say, I have seen these selling off at times. If you find these selling off, these are brilliant 
because of course it's just a bundle of packs so you're getting some cheap packs not terribly relevant given that this is a pre-order guide i grant you but still something to look out for potentially in the future now we know we are getting build and battle kits and build and battle stadiums now the build and battle kits are standard you're going to get yourself four packs a bunch of cards with which to make a deck and one of four promo cards we haven't seen the promo cards. I did say there were some questions still about Paradox Rift. One of the questions is specifically the art on those promos in the Elite Trainer Boxes. And another one of the questions is about what the deal is with these pre-release promos. As always, the minute they are revealed, I will, of course, show you that's the kind of thing I do. I can't show you right now. And then, of course, you've got your Build and Battle Stadium, which is where you get two of your Build and Battle kits. And then you also get yourself three extra booster packs, 121 energy cards, some dice, some markers. It's all rather lovely. As I've put it many times before, it is a great way to just, you know, buy one of these and you can do a two-player pre-release or limited tournament if it's after release at home, which is really fun. Doing a pre-release or post-release limited tournament, they're just, it's just a fun way to play the game. Open these, build some decks, go and have some fun. I'm a big fan of that. So yeah, this is something that I would recommend. Now, the promos we do know here are the three-pack blister promos. We've seen the three-pack blisters and they feature a lovely T-Zero Arctabax and they feature a Titan. Worth pointing out, of course, that the Titan is a brand new, never-before-seen card. It's kind of lovely. It was a Korokoro promo over in Japan. Single energy, 30 damage, plus 10 to each of your opponent's bench. Or free energy, flip three coins, 100 for each heads. I'm not going to sit here and argue this is a phenomenal card. It, it's not a phenomenal card. I am going to sit here and say there is a little bit of potential in this card because there is a little bit of potential in this card. But like I say, do bear in mind this is a properly exclusive card that's not been seen anywhere else. You have been warned. As for the Arctabax here, this is just an alternate art of the one that came around in Powder Evolved, but it was from a gym tournament promo pack over in Japan. Looking at the one pack blisters, we've got ourselves a Pineco, and we've got ourselves a lovely Kuramitsu Sinisty. Of these four blister pack promos, this is my favorite. And I actually did, I told you the other day, I got gifted one of these in a card shop in Japan by the, by the dude working there. And it, you know, what the gym promo pack they gifted me had this Kuramitsu Sinisty in, which is brilliant because I love Kuramitsu cards. This is one I would one day have picked up as a single. So these are both Jim promos from over in Japan. They are both alternate arts of existing cards, but they're still very, very cool, and I like them very much indeed. They're not terribly, you know, relevant from a playability standpoint, but as cool extra promos, yeah, they're pretty cool. Extra promos. <laughs> Now, we've also seen the check lane blisters. We know what they're going to be. And they are going to feature Tinkerton. And they are going to feature Hydreigon. Now, the deal with these is really simple. In Paldea Evolved, these did actually have, the, as in the check lane blisters, they did actually have a different hollow pattern. Which is awesome. Because it means that they are special and different and worth collecting. However, in Obsidian Flames, I'm hearing reports that they don't have a different hollow pattern, which makes them honestly kind of rubbish and pointless. So my deal here is really simple. If they have a different hollow pattern to what we generally see in the set, these are amazing and you should buy them. Or at least if you want the different hollow, you should buy them. If they don't, you're basically paying slightly over the odds for free regular cards and a regular pack, which I'm not a fan of. Sure, you can pick these up just because you want the cards, but there's cheaper ways to buy them as singles. Fun little side note, the Hydreigon is actually a really good card for the ability. Once during your turn, look at the top three cards of your deck, attach any number of energy cards you find to your Pokemon in any way you like. That's awesome, and it is any energy. And then, of course, we've got the Tinkerton, which lets you discard a card from your hand and draw three. I'm going to also do 180 for two energy if you've got a special energy on there, which is cool, but I dare say you're probably never going to use it. So, yeah, they're the promos. But they're all alternate, well, except for the check lane blisters I just showed you. The one pack blisters are alternate art, and the three pack blisters is one alternate art, one exclusive. And I'm going to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. 
That's pretty gosh darn cool. And those are the products. That's what you should be expecting. We still don't have a look at the artwork for the Elite Trainer Box promos, and that makes me a little bit sad. And we still don't know what the pre-release promos are going to be. I'm sure when we know them, I can go and do a follow-up video. For now, I want to know your opinions on Paradox Rift. I want to know what you're looking forward to. I want to know anything you want to tell me. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Pokemon and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.